Hey everyone, so today I'm doing an island tour for Mua Bay and she's actually an Animal Crossing partner of mine. I think she was actually my first one and I really wanted to do a tour on her island because I find it really beautiful. The way she terraforms and waterscapes all throughout her island. I was really nervous and excited just to see how her island looked because I only seen pictures. But yeah, we are going to be touring her island today and I'm very excited. One fact about her island is that she chose her villagers based on how their houses would look and how it would go with her island. I kind of do the same thing so I understand what she means. And also she had 500 hours before demolishing all of her island, her old island. And then she, to remodel this island it took her like 365 hours. So she spent a lot of time. Which I relate because I had another island before too. So I do the same thing. Her island name, Mua Bay, is based on her hometown and she just kind of mixed up the letters. She wanted to remodel her island to be more like mountain escape and it reminds her kind of of her favorite places in Montana. So I thought that was really nice. So when I got there she did have presents for me and she had an outfit for me so I did change into that. It was a really cute outfit. I love that. I didn't even have like the little leaf before so I was excited that she gave me that so there I am just okay So then her map, I show all her people. She has Bo, Teddy, Anna, Molly, Maple, Eric, Deirdre. And she did have three residents, so she did have three homes. But we are only touring one home. That was done. So I'll show that in the clips later on. So we start going up a ramp, which I think that's really cool. I never thought about doing something like that. I like how she has a pattern everywhere like she doesn't leave an empty space which I need to learn how to do that because I find it really nice like when something's on the floor and I love her path I love how like it's sparkly and flowers and right there I'm showing her little post office which I think is really cute and then me trying to sit down you could see how on the back how she terraformed and she like made the waterfalls so you could see like the view that's really nice. I love the post office, it's really cute. Then we just keep going, we go down to resident services and I love how it looks, how the ramp is straight down, like even and then the little arch. And now we're heading towards a little path, mushrooms, and the little waterscaping right there. I love that. It looks super hard though. I don't know how she did it. Like it, it just looks like it flows. I think that's my favorite part of her island. And now we continue onto the path and see the first villager house. And continue through the waterfalls and the cliffs. And then you can see a little picnic area on top with a little tourist thing and then the waterfalls. 
I was trying to get a good angle, but it was kind of hard because of the rock. And I tried to show all the water streaking in there. And then there's a little bit of area. And then she takes it on a detour, a little secret path. And then we see her little evil sisters. It's kind of hidden. And I like how it's hidden. Right there. It's really cute. And then we're going to her little mushroom plant. Which this is so cute. I never thought about doing something like that. And then to her orchard. See, she has little chairs and boxes of the fruit. And um, we just continue along. You could see in the views, you could always see mountains, which is really nice. I don't know how she did it, but it's very really beautiful. And then we head back to the single area to the cliffs and then we see someone's home right there. I'm not sure whose home is that, but Maple was right next to it. And then we decided to talk to her because I really want her. She's wearing a little outfit. Yeah, oh, she's so cute. I'm pretty sure she loves living on my And I think the next house is Maple's. I love how she doesn't leave her clips empty, like she just adds star fragments or the beehive, bee nest, and the little apiary. It looks really pretty. And then I accidentally just hop and I put it go back right there, but that stuck. So yeah, I'm trying to show like the most iconic of you in different angles. And then we are heading up the ramp where you could see a home. One of the, I think one, one of the three homes she had. This one wasn't finished, so we just didn't show that one. And we're passing by. We love that little heart pattern. And I love this area, the spa fragments. And the spa, the Nova light. And then a little area right there with the cook and the fire pit. And this is the house we get to tour. And I really love this house, the exterior of it looks really nice. So right when we go inside, it's the main room. It's like a little living room area. I love this white couch. And this little TV right there. I love how she uses a little iron on the table. I love the color of the white and the brown it goes really good with the room. And then she has her little Work table, which is the food stuff. And the next room is the kitchen. I think the ironwood looks really good. The dark ironwood looks really good. I would probably do the same thing. I haven't done my kitchen, but I would probably do something similar. So I love it. She said she was basic, but everybody uses it. So why not? And then we head up to the garden room. I think it's a cute room. I would never think of doing something like this. But I love the plants in the room. So it's really cute. It looks really nice. And then the next room, I think it's the bathroom. To the right is the bathroom. She said her bedroom was simple, but at least she's done it because I haven't done anything in my house except my bedroom. I like how she has a little spa bath 
with the clear blue water. I think it looks really good, and in the tan wallpaper on the floor. Look at the spa. Spa restroom. And you know you have to wash your hands, especially right now. <laughs> And then we head up to the master bedroom. I like the wallpaper, I think it's really nice. And then I love the log um, bed and furniture because that's what I have in my room as well. I love it. And then we're going to the basement. She said this is her favorite room. And I think it's really nice too because it has like stars everywhere. The star wallpaper. And it just seems like a cozy basement. Star flag. It's the moon and then the Nova lights. And then the wallpaper is really nice. I don't know how the wallpaper is on the other colors, but I love it. Now we get out of the house and we hop throughout the area we just passed. And she's just taking me around to her island to see more of her area. I think we're going to get more villager homes. And then we do pass the campsite. And then we go to the super beach. So I like how she has a little ramp right there all hidden. And then she has Bud's art. And then we keep going, we pass a little campfire. I'm going through the campsite. It's a little hidden campsite. I think it's really cute. And you can see all her waterscaping and flips. Which look amazing. And we're passing by Teddy's house because you think he's so funny. <laughs> and I decided to talk to him. Then we're hopping onto another area and she probably heard the falls. And you could see all the well this is actually where I get stuck. And I can't jump on my own. I'm freaking out until I finally get it. And I hope I hope. And if you send in this area you could just see all around like water and the cliffs. And you can see the head over the just went. It's a nice area. Except I was stuck and I couldn't help. And now we're heading to her rock garden with the moon in the middle. I think it's really beautiful. I wanted to do something like this, but I did a statue instead. But I think the moon looks really nice. It's probably my second favorite part of her island. I have a lot. It's six really good. And then we're heading to another little water area and we get a ladder and that's when we're gonna go down to the beach area. And I see there's like a little laundry area on the rock. And then a little path right here. It's really nice. 
a little lounging area while you wait for your clothes to be done. It's really cute. It's a good idea. I almost did this too. I'm really messing with the fan. No more tossing in a little bit of this one. And yeah, I think she decorates that side. Pretty cute. And then a little bridge across. You can see the stone hedge on the side. And then a little bench. And you can lay it down. And we continue on and we'll see more houses. And then you can see the little cliffs and a little picnic area up there with the scene. And we go to the beach, and you can see there's like butterflies and the fountain. It's like a butterfly beach. And then in her rock, you can see Fauna there looking out in the distance. And you can see a little like cafe area. I think it's really pretty. It's a good idea for the rocks. And then right here, another like lunch area. The wedding items for this looks really nice on the beach. And it gets stuck right there and we can make it back. I like the little pearl on the floor. Even though it does mess up your wedding, but I think they look pretty good. And then the wedding bench also looks good in the wedding series. Right here we sit down on the mushroom table with the trees blocking but it's so cute. I like the little notebook and the tea set. And how you can see the houses in the distance with the little bridge. I think it's really cute over there. And we cross the bridge and we're going down to the area where we're going to serve some that. We're heading out to her outdoor library, which I think is pretty, really nice the way she has it done. And I love this archway right here. And KK sings this song. And this is her outdoor library. I like how there's a book on the floor. And then the little stools, they're really cute, the tiny stools. And it's just a nice area, the, I like how the path just goes different areas, so it's really nice. And then we head out from the library and we're going to her eatery area. Little, and her little gnomes are there. I think it's cute with a little pizza oven, little pots. And this is actually leading towards the Avril sister, which is kind of hidden, which I think is really cute. I like how she puts trees on the little circle clips, just adds like a little bit of dimension. And we're heading to Avril sister. You can see a little office out there. And the sewing machine and the waterfalls on the side. And then we're heading towards the beach. And she has some lilies and little little lady on the floor. The marshmallows and the maple is walking by. And then over here it's like a spa area. It's actually her Zen Cafe. Which I think was really cool. I've never seen that before. The Zen Cafe with the tiny stool. I like this area. It's really cute.
Now we're heading down the beach. She's taking us down to the other area where the little poolside beds are, the hammock, and then like a little fishing area on the rock, which I think is really cool. Having all the fish items. And then we get by the beach house, which we're not going to tour, but I think it's really cute. And then her little dock area, the bench, it's nice. And this is like her beach house resort area. I like it. I like the, I like the tiki bar. I think it's a nice touch to the island, especially on the beach. And then her surfboards and the coconut juice, it just all goes together. I really like this part of the beach. Now we pass the museum and it's kind of hidden as well next to the library. And we just pass by it and we go to her other beach area where she has all her lilies of the valley which is really cute. I like it on the beach, it kind of just makes it stand out with the statues and the light posts. I think it's really nice. And this little sitting area. And that's it for her island. I'm so happy I got to tour her island. Thank you for letting me. I will have all her socials down below. Thank you for watching.